Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kemaya and if you're watching this, this is your sign to try colored hair this summer or whenever it is that you see this video. Before the video gets any further, I'd just like to thank Main Concept for partnering with me for yet another video. Thank you so much, Main Concept. I am beyond grateful for this opportunity. This video will just be to show and talk about this hair particularly. I'm gonna stop talking and let y'all get into the video. Comment down below any questions if you have any and spam the comments with blue hearts or green hearts just to let me know which one of these colors are y'all feeling the best. Hey guys, so today's video is in partnership with Main Concept. I'll be using their Afri Natural 3 times I Define Easy Ombre Braiding Hair. This hair comes in 52 inches. It is pre-stretched. It is advertised as an antibacterial hair, which does minimize itching. Also, the hair is very soft and there is minimal tangling with this hair. The two colors that I'll be using today are their 2T1B Denim and the 3T1B Ocean Mint. The 1B Denim is the dark blue color and the Ocean Mint color is the green one. Something that I love about this hair is the fact that the hair comes with dark roots. So if you're a little bit skeptical about, you know, just diving into the color world, this is the perfect first step for you because if your hair is black and you want to try colored hair, this gives a less dramatic look, but it also gives you a pop of color. As I was showing in my previous clips, I used my wooden hair separating tool to separate the sections that I'll be using to braid my hair. And now I'm just parting my hair in preparation for my style. I just want to say my parts were not very straight and are nowhere near perfect. Guys, I was trying, but you know, it looked real ghetto, but it's okay. It's okay. We tried. We didn't really succeed, but we tried. <laughs> also, I'd just like to say that my battery did end up dying before I was done parting my hair, but fair not. Even though I'm embarrassed about my parts, I will show you guys at the end how I parted my hair and what specifically I did. I'd also like to add really quick that this line from Main Concept comes with a wide range of different color selections. So if blue isn't really a cup of tea, they might have your cup of tea. I left a link in the description box down below that does show some of the colors that are part of this line. Okay, so before I go on to the cornrow portion of this video, I'd just like to say that cornrows are not my thing. Y'all know this, but this video's focal point is really just to encourage you to go ahead and try whatever color it is that you really wanted to try this summer or whenever it is that you see this video. I'm still going to explain to you guys how I did my cornrows, but bear in mind, that is my weak, that is my weak spot, but I'm gonna show y'all and explain to y'all how I did mine. So to prepare for my cornrow, I'm just using some Shine and Jam and I just apply that to the roots of my natural hair. And I use my tail comb and just comb the Shine and Jam through it just to ensure there are no knots. I go ahead, separate a top section and I plait as if I am just plaiting a three strand plait. And while I plait the hair, I go ahead and I pick up pieces on the underneath section and I just keep braiding it down like that. I start off my braids with my natural hair, one, because I like it to look natural, and two, because, uh, y'all, feet and cornrows are not my forte. <laughs> it's not my thing. But to feed in, I rest one strand of the braiding hair on the middle section of my natural hair, and then the remaining section of the braiding hair, I just bring that up to the top section of my natural hair. 
So basically, when you're feeding in, the focal points will be the middle section and whatever section is on top. So that's pretty much how you do it. You just continue to feed in as you go down. I wouldn't recommend having a fixed amount of hair to feed in because the thickness of everyone's hair is different. So I would actually recommend you feed in based on when you think it is necessary. So if your braid is looking a little, a little hungry and it's mostly your natural hair in it, like how it looks right here, you know, keep feeding in until you get a little bit more full, which means now you have more braid in here in it <laughs> hopefully that made sense y'all but that is it that's how i did it thank you so much for watching this video if you were up to this point thank you thank you thank you thank you a million times thank you again to main concept for sponsoring this if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos by me subscribe to my channel and also comment down below what color hair would you want to try if you were to try colored hair I really want to try pink hair next, but I'm really nervous, so I don't know. <laughs> I am a little bit embarrassed because my cornrows are ghetto, my parts are not straight. I actually put 100% effort into trying this style, I'm not going to downplay it. I put effort in, but it didn't come out as nice as I would like it to come out. But I'm going to still show y'all how I parted it and what I did. So for the back row, I have four knotless box braids. At the back, I have four knotless box braids. Then, the row above that, I have cornrows. Also, put two knotless box braids at the side. And this, I put the knotless box braids just to give a little bit more of like a fuller look. And also, I wanted to add the color. I didn't want the color to just be like awkward. It is a bit awkward, but I like it. For what but yeah guys thank you again so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed and to spam the comment section with blue hearts or green hearts depending on which color of the hair do you like the best